So what I'm going to show you now is how to get through the verses of this song and just kind of sing along in literally the simplest way I can think of. First thing you got to do, get your low E string tuned down two whole steps. So it's basically going down from E to a C and then your A string, your fifth string here, should go down a whole step from an A to a G. Then you're going to have the capo here. I'm going to check this out. Capo is on the third fret right now. So that's basically, I'm actually going to describe all these chords in the original key for once because it's kind of hard to visualize them in standard guitar tuning. So I'm just going to refer to them as their actual sounding pitches. You know, this, the, this key of the song is B flat. So you're going to hear me talking about B flat chords and E flat chords all the time because you're, you're, hopefully you'll just kind of see them that way. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is show you the chords in this. There's not a terribly huge number of them. First thing, this is the main chord of the song. It's a B flat chord. Um, you really just do it by taking your pointer finger and doing kind of two notes here on the third fret above the capo. And you play from the fifth string up. It's basically like an open B flat chord. You, it, it, I know it, some of you might have trouble with this at first. I would really go for doing it with one finger because you're going to need that when you get to the other melodic stuff. So really try to do this with one finger if you can. The next most important chord in the song is the E flat chord, which is a little bit broken out of a C shape here, but you need the first fret of the second string, your B string, and you need the second fret of your fourth string, which is your D string. So, so it's almost like you took a C chord, but you took the ring finger away. And this one you hit all the strings for. So those are the two main chords that you get. Um, as you're going into the end of the verse, you're going to play this, what's going to be essentially an F chord. Um, you can reach around with your thumb if you're really slick. I will sometimes try to do that. Um, but the main notes you need, you need the second fret of your sixth string, your lowest string. For now, get it with your pointer finger. You can use the ring finger on the second fret of the G string, or your third string. So there's your notes so far. And then you can use your ring finger on the third fret of the B string. And then, you know, the, uh, I'll, in fact, before I show you any more chords, I'll show you how they work. Um, the song starts out, you just, just hanging on to this B flat chord. Says Red Molly to James, that's a fine motorbike to the E flat. Oh, a girl could feel special on any such like Says James to Red and Molly My hat's off to you E flat again That's a Vincent Black Lightning 1952 to the B flat Then he's gonna go to the F And I've seen you at the corners And E flat to B flat So it's two counts of F To the E flat to the B flat And it does that progression twice kind of in the middle of the verse now, the verse ends with something a little different. And it pulled around behind. Basically, you're going to take your pointer finger, you're going to bar the second fret of your A, D, and G strings. So, third, fourth, fifth strings, get a bar. Pinky's going to reach up a couple frets, three frets above that to the fifth. You're going to make this kind of open chord like this. You got the bar here and the pinky up here, fifth fret of the B string. You're going to slide that up two frets and then one more fret. So that's the sequence there. It's based on the second fret, up to the fourth fret, up to the fifth fret. And on this chord, this ring finger will toggle on and off being kind of two frets above the bar there. And those are all the chords you need to kind of pedal this song. Now let me show you the patterns real quick. I mean, actually for this, I'm going to show you one pattern. Um, the pattern for now is this, this is like kind of the main kind of pedaling pattern he uses between verses. It's, it's a two stroke Travis pattern. Just lower string, upper string. And when he hits the higher pitch string, he's gonna pluck with two fingers on, on his thinnest two strings. So it looks like this. One, pinch, pinch, bass, pinch, bass, pinch. So that's two strokes and on the upper note, pinch. Pinch, bass, pinch, bass, pinch, bass, pinch. So see if you can get that rolling over the B flat chord. And once you got that going, you know, he's also going to use four stroke bass patterns in this. So when he gets to the E flat chord, you can do the same thing. 
you see the bass is now four stroke. It's the you know it's your sixth string, fourth string, fifth string, fourth string. With the chord, of course, it's like this. Now, of course, you're still plucking on the offbeat. So for this part, I would say, for this part of the tutorial, I'd say just use that pattern. You can really, it really it's kind of a placeholder for any other kind of Travis pattern. I mean, he circulates between so many patterns in this song, it's almost crazily erratic, which is kind of neat. But for now, simplify your life, pedal it simply. All right, let's see if we can play through some of this using what we have so far. So let's get this going. The verses are not evenly spaced. It's not always the same number of counts every verse. So, you just follow the words, like so. Says Red Molly to James, that's a fine motorbike. So the E flat, right on the word bike, he goes to the E flat. Now a girl could feel special on any such like. He switches back to the B flat. Says James to Red Molly, my hat's off to you. E flat on the word you. That's a Vincent Black Lightning 1952. So I guess it seems on all the rhymed words, more or less, that's when he changes. And I've seen you. He switches to, excuse me, the F chord there. When he, and I've seen you at the corners. He does a two stroke bass over this one. So he's plucking the sixth and fourth string. If, if, you, if you catch this extra note here with your thumb, you could do a four stroke bass. I think sometimes he does, but usually I think he's usually doing two stroke bass over this. And he's plucking the B and G strings. And I've seen you at the corners and cafes, it seems. Just like that. F. Parts of the verse are actually one of the most stable parts measure wise. They're almost always like that. And he just comes out of it. And he pulled around. Again, we've switched to this kind of bar chord. He, the lowest note he's plucking is the lowest note you're fingering on the A string. He's plucking the B and G strings again, and then the higher note of the pattern is on the D string. So he's going A string, D string, A string, D string. Switch, switch. So basically he gets one pattern for those switches. He goes pattern, 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 pattern. Moves through them fairly quickly. And he kind of hangs on this until he's done singing whatever little tag he does. And down to box hill, they did B flat. Right when he hits the word ride, he's going right back to the B flat there. So let's go through, actually I'll go through the second verse now since you might have an idea of the first verse, but I'll go through the whole thing fairly slowly, see if you can play along, but this should give you a sense of how this piece moves chord-wise. All right, here we go. All right. Here we go. Says James to Red Molly, here's a ring for your right hand. But I'll tell you in earnest, I'm a dangerous man For I've fought with a loss since I was seventeen I robbed a many a man to get my Vincent machine Now I'm twenty-one years, I might make twenty-two And I don't mind dying but for the love of you Stride. I'll give you my Vincent to ride. And he's into the riff. So, that should give you an idea of how the verses stand. And if you want to go out and just sing these words to people, you could do that. You could take it faster. Says Red Molly to James, that's a fine motorbike. And you could start messing with other Travis picking patterns if you want. So 
right lesson right after this, I'm gonna start showing you how to do your some of the main patterns that he does, and I'll show you. Ah. And how that main riff goes. So you could use that as the little riff that goes in between all the verses if you wanted to, or you could just screw with it a little bit. Um, but that'll get you rolling on doing kind of the fancier version of the songs, having some more of the Travis picking patterns and that riff there. And then in the later lessons, I think I'll go into like the real, the real skinny on how he does all the the different patterns that he does and all the different solos in between, but one thing at a time. Too much good stuff for all at once. See you soon.